Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your love connection reading for the month of February. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Sagittarius, this has to be an actual connection you believe you have with somebody, whether you are together or not. Um, you have to at least know each other and believe you have some sort of connection towards each other. So this reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So let's see what we have for you, Sagittarius. So welcome, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you had a great holiday season. Hope you're having a happy new year. So the first thing we're going to do here is pull in, um, we could get a sign element or planet energy and see how that resonates for you. Woo. Okay, this one, well, there's two there. So, but we did get the moon and the sun. So we have Cancer Pisces and we have Leo, but I only want one. So in case those signs mean anything to anybody. All right, so let's get one for Sagittarius. Take that one. And if you don't resonate with what this is, that's totally fine. We have Neptune energy here. And I believe that is um, Pisces. That's Pisces energy. So Neptune is about imagination, compassion, psychic experiences, and balance. Hmm. Okay. So if you're not, I mean, you could be dealing with Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or it could be the energy of Neptune um, in your connection. It could be a very spiritual connection also, um, or you could be daydreaming about this person as with the imagination. Um, so I don't know, we'll see here. So with this deck here, I am going to pull whoever you're thinking about at this time during this reading what the energy is like between the two of you, so I'd like the love connection energy or the energy between the two of you, whoever you're thinking about at this time, Sagittarius. So spirit, can we have an overall energy between Sagittarius and whoever they're thinking of at this time? And I do say at this time because I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, feel free. Your uh, links to your playlist are down below in the description box to your generals and your love readings. Also down there is a lot of information, how to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, if you'd like to tip or donate or send a gift. All that information is below. And I will also pin some of that information to the top comment in the comment section. All right. Wow, we got two there, but I don't want two. I want one. So what do we have here? We have meditation. So we have three. And three is about uh, people coming together, collaboration, teamwork kind of energy. But somebody in meditation here is, I feel, thinking and contemplating and really trying to decide about a connection here. So, And that meditation could also be that spiritual energy or something like that with this person. It could be a lot of 5D energy also between you and this person, as you see um, that energy there. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, Sagittarius, is I'm gonna put you on this side, your person on that side, pull one card for each, how you're feeling about each other and the connection. We'll clarify that energy with the tarot, get the actual situation, and then advice for the connection a possible outcome and closing messages with this deck and I have my decks wrong okay all right so Sagittarius how are you feeling and how is your person feeling about this connection at this time spirit please thank you so much all right that one all right let's see Sagittarius well, you're an energy of wanting to release something here, which is five. Five is about change. Now, this reminds me of the tower moment. So you're either thinking about releasing this person or I feel like you have a lot, of, either that. For, so I got two different stories here. So take whichever resonates for you. And if any time during this reading, Sagittarius, you feel like, no, that's the other side's my person or that side's my person, please switch and flip flop the energies all throughout this reading as you see fit and only, only take what resonates. So you may be in the energy of wanting to release somebody or you're in the energy of you have a lot of 
built up, pent up emotions, feelings, and things like that, that you've been kind of keeping to yourself in like that meditative state. And now you're just at the point where now it's like, I just got to release all this. I can't hold it in any longer. So we'll see as we clarify. And then your person here has compassion, which is two. And two is about unity. So your person is in a very compassionate state. Um, I feel like. They, I feel like they're very compassionate, caring, loyal, giving, you know, grounded, loving kind of energy. It's like they just want to understand you, um, comfort you. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what's going on here. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have nurture. We have four. Four is all about foundation, basis, stability, nurture. Somebody just wants to nurture. Someone has a lot of compassion for the other and they just want to nurture them. But, Sag, I feel like you or your person, however it resonates for you, and you can be male or female watching this. Um, and the energy wanting to release something here, though. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Sagittarius. I just want to give a quick shout out to everybody, all my new subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Those who have tipped or donated, sent a gift, or those who have reached out for personal reading. Thank you so much for all your support you give me in the channel. I could not do it without you guys. So thank you. Thank you so much. I truly, truly appreciate all of you. All right. Let's see what's going on here for you, Sagittarius, at this time. Why do we have a release here under your energy or your person, however it resonates for you? So why is release here? Ten of Wands. Yeah, this is a burning some energy. Wanting to release something here. Something that's tiresome, burdensome. So we have the Queen of Scrolls, which is the Queen of Swords energy. King or Queen, doesn't matter. Someone needs to be honest here. About how they're feeling. About how they're feeling like overworked, overburdened, overstressed, over too much responsibility, something carrying too much on your back, having too much on your plate, being at a crossroads. Someone just finally needs to be open and honest here about releasing this. Hmm. Okay, so why does your person here have compassion, whoever you're thinking about at this time? The sun. So... <laughs> I feel like, you know, the sun is like the most positive card in the deck. This person is like in a good energy. They're very healing. They're positive. It's um, happiness and joy, enlightenment, victory, success. I mean, everything possible, everything positively possible is possible with the sun energy. So, all right. So, nine of mirrors. So, Wishes and dreams coming true, happiness and joy. So yeah, this person is in like that energy of seeing you as like their wish fulfillment, the happiness, the joy. They would be so happy. Uh, the sun is just very happy, like the very positive, positive, positive in all aspects of life with the sun card. Most positive card in the deck to get. Your person is in a very, whoever you're thinking of is in a very, very high vibration. They're in a good space. They're loving, caring, nurturing, giving, healing, happy kind of energy. But yet you're in this burdensome energy, but needing to speak your truth about some sort of release here. Either about being honest with this person about what you are releasing currently. Or if this is for some of you who feel like you want to release this person. This person is just such a good energy that I, like, I don't know why you want to release this person, but... I don't know. Let's see. So let's see what the actual situation is. So now we got the Queen of Spirals, which is the Queen, King, doesn't matter, a one. So that's your energy there. Is that fire energy? So what do we have here? Oh, so we have the Two of Stones, Two of Pentacles. So really juggling around. Yeah, you're juggling a lot in your life, on your plate, just everything. You know, you are that fiery, passionate energy. Go after what you want, a lot of drive, ambition, go-getter kind of energy. 
you gotta have air in your chart also libra gemini aquarius um but there's just a lot you're juggling around right now but we got the six of mirrors in the center right here so this is six of cup energy so this is a soulmate energy this is, could be someone you have had past lives with someone you've known since childhood or been with for a very long time uh someone that you just feel like you've known for a long time even if you haven't it's like that connection of someone that you feel like you've just like known them all your life some you have some you haven't or it could be past lives here but then we have the five of cups energy so this is sadness loss hurt yeah so your person even though they're in a high vibration they're in a good energy i think without you they're very sad lonely um without you because they feel that six of cups energy that soulmate energy all right so let's get one more for the actual situation here the empress yeah so wow i have felt that emperor empress doesn't matter this person is in their empress empress or emperor energy of just being embodying like all the all the kings or queens of the deck being like that caring giving nurturing kind of person loving independent stable um honest i mean all that energy of like the whole deck is the emperor or the empress so this person is in that good energy yet they feel sadness about you for some reason and maybe they just see you juggling around a lot and it's like you don't know what to do what you need to release but um hmm. a couple different storylines here i'm not i'm not feeling like you want to release this person i mean you could but there's such good energy there that i don't know why someone will want, would want to release that energy but it's either that or you need to be honest with the queen of swords energy king or queen with this person what you're going through now what you are releasing in your life what you're juggling around um i think they need that clarity maybe for some of you they're fe feeling sad and lonely for some reason even though they're very strong energy here so let's get advice advice for you sagittarius well for the connection so we have the nine of stones this is a nine of pentacles energy so that's under you so maybe you're in the process of becoming you know again walking away from something here and becoming uh independent and stable on your own you know gaining back your stability like this woman man or woman here has become very stable independent in her own she has everything she needs so she can walk away and go off and do something new because she's very independent so you may be in the process of going off and doing something new or regaining your stability your foundation becoming single or something like that um so you you know that's why you would have a lot on your plate juggling a lot around so let's see let's see what else this is actually advice for the situation so we got the four of cups energy so this is feeling bored and complacent and just blah not ha really happy not sad just i mean ick, ick kind of energy oh i feel like you may need to walk away from something here that you're feeling very bored in life with just in general all right what else here the four spirals so this is my twin flame card so so you could definitely be dealing with the twin flame here but this is also about stability uh basis foundation the home kind of energy two fours here which is about basis foundation stability kind of energy but the four of cups is about feeling blah i mean you could be feeling blah in your home life right now whatever it may be and maybe that's that energy of needing to just release that and get out of that kind of energy all right let's get one more the hero so this is taking a leap of faith this is the um full energy so you know this is about resetting at zero taking a leap of faith jumping right in trusting everything will be fine 
So Spirit wants you to know that whatever, there's something in your home life now that you're very bored in. It's time to walk away from that, become independent from that energy, because it's time here now to take a new leap of faith. It could be with a new person here, or it could just be in general. But I'm getting like this is a new person here. And you could be releasing an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Because we do have Leo over here. So your new person could be a Leo. Hmm, okay. So let's get a uh, possible outcome. Or it could be somebody uh, has heavy air in their chart. If that's not their main sign, like their sun sign. They could have heavy air somewhere else in their chart. So let's see what the possible outcome could be in, whoa, in this situation. So we got the moon in reverse. So that's about things coming to light. Because the moon upright is all about, um, it can be about secrets, illusions, not seen clearly. So the moon in reverse can be about secrets coming to light. Now seeing the path clearly. Um, no more secrets. Wow, no more secrets, yeah. I feel like you're not telling this new person about what you're going through, what you're releasing, what you're juggling around, what you're doing, what you're walking away from, becoming independent from, that you're not happy in, in your, in your life. And, you know, and take, energy is here in about taking a leap of faith. So, oh, we have the chariot here go flying on the floor. So this is about moving forward with drive, ambition, balance, passion, success, and victory. I feel like there's going to be no more secrets now between you, and I feel like it's a new person. No more secrets. Now rushing forward, rushing together with that drive, ambition, like I said, uh, balance, success, victory, moving forward quickly, traveling. For some of you but stress worry anxiety over this the nine scrolls stress worry anxiety about how to do this how to move forward how do i reveal these secrets how do i you know release release these secrets release what i need to say so we can move forward stress and anxiety over that and here comes my cat tapping me hi so yeah, so I do I do feel like here, it could be you or them. Somebody's in the process of releasing something that is no longer serving them, that's overburdened to them. <coughs> See, my throat's getting closed up and scratchy. And that's that Queen of Swords energy. I'm needing honest communication, uh, truths. So needing to communicate to this other person, they say you they see you in the sun energy, wish fulfillment, happiness, and joy. You're balancing a lot, even though you're in your energy here. Definitely soulmate, right in the middle of the spread, soulmate energy here with the six of cups, possible past lives together. They're feeling feeling sad without having you in their life, even though they're very strong energy here with the sun and the empress. Wow. But the advice is here is whatever you're bored and complacent in in life that is no longer serving you is to walk away from that, become independent from that, take a leap of faith, no more secrets or illusions, moving forward, even though there's some stress and anxiety here. Wow. Okay. So this person I feel just wants to um, show compassion. They want to nurture you, a lot of healing energy. You may be overthinking things with the meditation energy or you need to really think about things here. Uh, heal kind of energy. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the Eight of Scrolls. So you have mental entrapment. You could be stuck in your head about this. Two of Mirrors, again, soulmate energy here. Two people coming into soulmate union. Making plans and decisions for the future. Now we have the Emperor. So this, we have this person over here and the Empress, and now we have the Emperor. Emperor and Empress, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Divine energies here. We did have the twin flame card there with the four of wands. So divine energy here. The emperor. 
Seven of Mirrors, so feeling a little confused, illusion, daydreamy kind of energy. Page of Spirals, so he has some good news coming in. Passionate communication. <coughs> could be between the two of you. With this new person, possibly. Could be a fire sign, Leo Sag Aries. Are you sending good news to somebody that you indeed did end something here with the death card? Justice, so it could be divorce or something else here or doing what's moral, just and right with the justice card. Again, the page of scrolls, open and honest, truthful communication and very stable, grounded communication with the page of um, stones, which is the page of pentacle energy and the page of uh, swords. So I'll open, honest, truthful communication, very stable and grounded communication, doing what's moral, just and right. Balance could be divorce for some or could for some of you ending something here with the death card Good news coming in or a passionate communication After a time here of feeling disillusioned confused daydreamy kind of energy, but we do have the Empress to so take lead control charge masculine and feminine energy here plans decisions for the future about soulmate union even though a little bit stuck up in your head about it possibly Wow. <laughs> so other than Pisces energy here, we do have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, let's see. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Libra, Leo, Sag, Aries, Scorpio. The emperor here is um, <sighs> Aries. Let's see. We do have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, Leo, Sag, Aries. Uh, let's see. The Empress here is Libra, Taurus, Aquarius, la, 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 Cancer, Pisces, Cancer. So a lot of signs there. So let's get some closing messages for you, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. So I do have Sagittarius. If you're new, you like my style, how I read my energy, please check out my channel if you like what you see. Uh, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. I'm going to be, uh, I used to offer a lot of different readings, but now I'm going to be doing bi-weekly general and love readings. And I just started a bonus reading for every uh, sign. And I do a little bit of love, life, and advice. So if you're interested in all that, please check it out. All right, so let's get some closing messages here for you, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Let's see what we have. Our Lady of Divine Presence. Wow, 14.5. So <clears throat> divine energy here. Wow, <clears throat> my throat is like so closed up right now. So there definitely needs to be a lot of open communication here. And that Lady of Divine Presence, four, one and four is five. Is about change so something needs to change here and divine presence divine energy divine counterparts we had to see the emperor the empress masculine feminine energy wow <clears throat> okay let's get a few more you sagittarius our lady of great power 24 which is six which is about healing and balancing energy our Lady of Great Power. Hmm. I feel like this energy over here is very, I don't want to say powerful, but they're just like in their element. They're in their power. They're like a divine feminine um, empress energy. So 24. I just want to read a little bit about that. This is the Mother Mary deck. So it speaks as if she is speaking. So that's why it sounds a little odd when I read it. My robes form the heavens above, and my sacred feet, the earth spins. In my eyes, the stars of the night sky are born and shine. My hair forms galaxies, and in my heart, many suns burn. Sun. Burn with divine love. Divine love, divine counterparts. Wow. <laughs> Any fear, fear, doubt on this side that could be you, Sagittarius. Any problem or concern? I feel like you're releasing that. I hold you in my being so vast. There is nothing more powerful than I. I am the love that is all that you are. So 
Wow. Okay. So let's get one more for you, Sagittarius. Our Lady of Manifest Miracles. Wow, we got 11 there, which is half of the Twin Flame number. So this could be a miracle that <laughs> soulmate Twin Flames here come into union. Manifesting miracles here. Wow. I think Divine is trying to make this happen. I'm surprised we didn't get like the Wheel of Fortune or anything like that. But bottom of the deck here, Our Lady of Satan. I can't make this shit up. I just can't. <laughs> 37, which is 10, which is about endings. And then one, a new beginning, Our Lady of Sacred Union. Well, <laughs> Manifest Miracles, Sacred Union, Divine Presence. Wow. Masculine Feminine, Soulmate Twin Flame. I've been getting that a lot in your readings, uh, Sagittarius. Wow. Okay, Sagittarius. Well, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.